one I, 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 I cut the stripes and then I use the marinated this I use nothing because I really have nothing okay so and then I have uh, one onion and some ginger ginger is the freezer I froze it okay so ginger is very good too and these are all from freezer because of the COVID I don't really go out buy so much okay this is the one I keep from last year from my own uh, garden okay uh, it's a lemongrass so you can just remove the water and even the carrot because it's too much I couldn't finish it so I put it in the freezer so you just take out squeeze out the water and this one is the frozen uh, onion uh, green 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 onion uh, what is this green onion okay no it's green beans <laughs> I'm getting old <laughs> sorry it's a green bean a frozen one so I just remove the you know the water okay and that is it okay it's very easy to cook so I just put the heat the oil and then put the ginger in there and then put the onion Well, seriously, a lot of time I don't know what I'm doing. Okay? I just, I just see whatever I have. I cook whatever I have. Okay. I do not really have anything like looking at the recipe from people. I just see what I have and then I figure out what I can cook with it. Okay? Hopefully, it turn out to be all right. You know, if it's not, if it's not good, it's gonna be like no, we will not eat it. Okay? So that is the way it is, and um, so this is my home cooking. I'm not a chef, just like as I tell you. I just cook this on what I have, and especially during this time, COVID time, I do not shopping a lot, and then a lot of uh, stuff I don't have. So I just based on what I have to to make good use of it. Okay. Then we're gonna add the, the carrot. Okay, and um, we are not a carrot eater, but somehow because of this uh, COVID, carrot can last. So we just use it for the nutritious, okay, for nutritious purpose. Also, my husband do not like veggies so much, okay. So I have to make make sure have more veggies. Uh, and and uh, this is the veggie I have. If I don't cook it, it's gonna too long. So I just have to cook it. Okay. So based on the experience I have, I know it won't turn, it won't it won't taste bad. I think it's gonna taste good. That's basically usually I guess. And I do not put the the green bean first because green bean is is frozen you know it's basically almost cooked so you put it the last thing so in that case you can have more veggie uh it's more filled to the stomach okay and plus it tastes good too i know it may not look so good to regular people but keep in mind this is for old people or for people who have suffer diabetes so this is the, the the best the best thing that they can you know eat with no harm to their blood blood sugar okay you can have the white meat these are chicken white meat so it's, it's pretty good okay no cholesterol less cholesterol and um veggie are you know um nutritious okay and lemongrass are very good for body okay if you have anything with the meat or fish or anything just use lemongrass these are very good it helps help your body a lot you know i i often drink lemongrass with tea as well this that can heal your stomach okay and digestion any kind of things okay? so you just have to you know in general i will add some um soy sauce okay or salt okay maybe i add some soy sauce not too much because he cannot take salt okay so i will add some uh, soy sauce okay 
Alright, relax this off a little bit. Okay. And then let it cook for a while. Okay. Then later on we add the, we add the green onion. A green... Okay, I, my brain today is not really great, okay? Green beans, okay? I keep making mistake green onion. So after a while cooking, then you can add the uh, green beans in here, okay? So one of my suggestions, if you have a family member who has a diabetes, and if you have a yard, the best thing to grow is bitter melon and uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass is very easy to grow. You can just get a, a lemongrass in the, any Asian store and then dip it in the water. Then it will come out the root in a few days and then you can plant it. It's very easy. These are the best two things that you can cook with anything. Okay? And um, a bitter melon is a very good for diabetes uh, suffer. Okay? And if you have mulberry tree in your yard, then it is a you know, it is a blessing that you can use it. If you don't, then that is fine because mulberry, if you order online, is very expensive. Okay, like um, uh, a hundred leaf, like for I don't know, thirty, forty dollars, is ridiculous. Okay, so um, so if you have a a, a small uh, yard, just grow a bit of melon. Bit of melon is, I have many bit of melon recipe. It's very good for for a diabetes uh, sufferer okay and it helps tremendously okay so uh, um, but it's only grow in the uh, summertime okay but as for the winter time you can save many things from bitter melon okay? so now this is almost uh, you just let it uh, cook for a while then it's done uh -huh. so you see I add the curry powder but if you have a pack of this kind of Indonesian stuff it's easy you can just open it you can add to it okay but uh, I just add curry powder and maybe I add a little bit of ground iron to kill him. Okay, you can't really take spicy too, but I just put some. Okay. So now the last thing, that's the most nutritious, we just add milk. Okay, so in that case, we have enough calcium. Okay. Now the water is a little bit. Now smell curry. Now we're gonna let it boil. That's it. Right. This is turned out to be wonderful. Okay, so you can have all the veggie. And then to fill in the stomach. That's how I cook. So I usually basically use for whatever I have ingredient and then and then when I cook I think what should I do with it? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is home cooking, okay? I really, uh, you know, based on what I have and then uh, cook as is, okay? And try my best and hope for the best, okay? Alright, I think it's, you know, it's basically almost done. I'll see you next time again. Bye bye now. Well, it turns out to be super delicious you know cooking while thinking thinking while cooking okay so it turns out to be very delicious and i guess you know uh, i think for sure he's gonna love it okay thank you for uh, watching okay i'll see you soon bye bye now